Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk about the NBA Eastern Conference winner, the, part, the bracket I don't like, the bracket I don't think is going to win, but the bracket I want exposure to so I could hedge against the real winner, right? Get some cheap insurance. Let's talk about it. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, viewers who've been following my NBA videos uh, know that I feel the winner of the Brooklyn Net Milwaukee Bucks series is going to come out of the Eastern Conference, right? I know Philly is the top seed in the conference. I just don't believe in them. I don't like the fact that you have to take Ben Simmons off the court late in games because he can't hit free throws, right? I don't like the fact that the team, to me, is as reliant on Joel Embiid as it is. And, of course, Embiid has a torn meniscus. Right? To me, the Nets are more talented. To me, Milwaukee's more talented. But understand, we still want exposure in the Atlanta Hawk Philadelphia 76er side of the bracket. So this way, when the Eastern Conference Finals happens, we have both sides of the play. Right? Now, days ago, I pointed out that the Atlanta Hawks we're getting 20 to 1 odds. 20 to 1 to win the Eastern Conference. I thought that was ridiculous. Right, folks? It was ridiculous because today the Atlanta Hawks are a plus 1346. In other words, the odds have dropped considerably, as you would imagine that they would, since that series is now at a game seven. So, we're We'll keep the numbers round here so everyone can do the math. If you bet $1 at 20 to 1 on the Hawks to win the Eastern Conference, here's where you can take some profits. Right? Since they're ratcheting up the line, right? The 76ers are favored by 7 points as I make this video. To win game seven against the Hawks, the way I'm hedging the play, in other words, if Atlanta wins, I'm good, obviously, right? I have a 20 to 1 play into the Eastern Conference Finals, right? We have to figure out what to do if Atlanta loses. Do I want to take Philly on a money line? Because understand, a point spread doesn't work here if what I'm hedging is Atlanta winning the game, right? I don't want a situation where Philly wins, doesn't cover, right? I lose the 20 to one on the Atlanta side, which would, you know, require them to win the Eastern Conference, and I don't collect on the Philly side because the point spread does nothing for me. So I'd have to pay the high fees to get Philly on a money line. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to roll it forward. I'm going to try to get leverage into the next round. In other words, the 20 to 1 that I got on the Hawks, right, that, take, that takes care of me if the Hawks win, I'm going to now convert that <coughs> into the Sixers to win the Eastern Conference, right? I don't think they are. I'm just trying to get leverage opposite the winner of the Net Bucks winner, right? But what I'm going to do is instead of paying a stiff price to take the 76ers straight up in game seven of their series against the Hawks, instead I'm going to get a plus 340. Plus 340, folks, for Philly to win the Eastern Conference. So here's how it plays out. If the Hawks win game seven, then on the Hawks side of the play, I'm getting 20 to one odds. So I can load up 
on the Brooklyn Net Milwaukee Buck winner. Right? The group that I think will actually win the conference. I can load up on them. If the Hawks get knocked off by the 76ers in Game 7, then I have the Sixers, the one seed, at a plus 340. Right? Longer odds, by the way, than you're getting on the Brooklyn Nets at plus 122 to win the Eastern Conference and the Milwaukee Bucks at a plus 167 to win the Eastern Conference right now. So, since I'm already on the Atlanta side of the play and have long odds, 20 to 1, for them to make it out of the series against the 76ers, right here, and I'm just telling you what I'm doing, you do your own research, right here, I'm going to place action on the 76ers at plus 340. Right? Plus 340. This is in addition to earlier Sixer action I have. I'm going to place money on the Sixers at plus 340 to win the Eastern Conference. Understand, all I'm trying to do is to take advantage of swings in the market so that whoever wins the Eastern Conference, I profit. Right? So, earlier I was here online, I talked up the Phoenix Suns, they're doing well. I talked up Utah, they're out. Uh, I talked up the Sixers. This is back when you were getting huge odds on these teams, right? Huge odds on these teams. My point to you is you're still getting huge odds on some teams, right? A few days ago, they were offering the Hawks at 20 to 1. The Hawks are now in game 7, folks. So now here's where we take a step to take advantage of the deal we got days ago. And of course, you're getting the Sixers at plus 340, better than 3 to 1. So here, even though we're impressed with the Bucks, even though we're impressed with the Nets, we recognize that this is basketball. That Kyrie Irving might be out an extended period of time. When he comes back, he might look as gimpy as James Harden looks right now, right? Injuries happen, right? Injuries happen. So in recognition of that, I'm grabbing the Sixers here at plus 340. Understand the odds move so much that when it gets asymmetrical and you can lock in either a 20 to 1 play or a plus 340 on a 1 seed. Right? Who's playing game 7 at home? That's what you need to do. Understand too that because we're just talking about Eastern Conference odds, right? Just Eastern Conference odds, you'll be able to collect on the play if it hits before the NBA Finals. You wouldn't have to worry about Phoenix or the Clippers, right? Food for thought. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. At this time of year, if you're lucky, you have some action at great odds on all of the teams that are left in the playoffs. That's how I see it. I look forward to your comments. Thanks for stopping by.